Well, Files One News has learned Nassau County will be filing a lawsuit against pharmaceutical companies and doctors for prescribing painkillers to patients in the area. Files One's Logan Crawford spoke with one of the lawyers representing Nassau County in the lawsuit. According to lawyers, Nassau County will be filing a lawsuit against 19 pharmaceutical companies who make and market prescription painkillers and five doctors in Nassau who played key roles in promoting the drugs for chronic pain. The goal? To reimburse the millions of dollars in expenses related to the opioid epidemic. Healthcare costs, the price of providing Narcan to revive overdose victims, and the money for drug rehab programs helping addicts get healthy. Joseph Chacho is an attorney with Napoli Skolnik, the firm representing Nassau County in the case. He says these companies have profited billions of dollars and the taxpayers are paying for these costs. Realize that it may be time for the companies that are, that are making money off these medications to, to do their part to help, uh, to help the county. Chacho says these prescription drugs have had a tremendous impact on overdoses and addictions with many people becoming addicted to these prescribed painkillers, then turning to other drugs like heroin. Officials say while one goal of this lawsuit is to reimburse the county for the money spent on dealing with opioids, another thing that this lawsuit aims to do is to curb the amount of prescription painkillers getting into people's hands. Bring more awareness to the problem and, and try to make these companies change the way that they are marketing and distributing these pills. To, to limit the amount of pills that are being distributed among the county. The case will be filed on Monday in Nassau County Supreme Court. Suffolk County also launched a similar lawsuit against pharmaceutical companies and several doctors last summer. Logan Crawford, Fios One News.